In today's video, I share with you the only business strategy you need to follow to make millions and why it is not unfair that a footballer earns more than a doctor in Kenya. So you want to stay up to the very end of this video because I am going to be dishing out gems left, right, center. You've probably heard of that saying that life is so unfair a footballer in Argentina earns so much more than even a doctor in Kenya. And um, this is a phrase that I've had spoken about by literally everybody from young people, students, eight to five corporate uh, workers, matatu people, like everybody talks about it. And um, that has almost made me for a very long time to almost buy into the idea. And it almost sounded like a fact, you know, um, a doctor does so much more for the society, does so much more for the community, does so much more for humanity than some guy who is chasing a leather, smaller leather bowl and then they are earning in the billions of dollars. But now that I am a content creator, I fully understand and I understand that it is not unfair. It is actually very fair. And um, what has made me to realize is that it's not about what you do. It's how you do it and who you actually impart. And this has even affected how I do my businesses, how I do stuff. And that's why a lot of how I make money is done online. So when you know the business strategy to make you millions, then you can understand whether, what is the best business idea? Should I set up a Wines and Spirits in Kitangela or if I should spend my time and my money on something else? And it doesn't matter if you are a doctor, you are a content creator, you are a lawyer, you can literally achieve so much with this strategy that I'm going to share with you. So if you want to earn millions, you need to attract millions in whatever it is that you are selling. And I'm going to explain it in a bit. So what led me into this um, video was recently there is a doctor in Kenya. She is called Amakove. I love that girl too much. And uh, she was recently trending two days ago. And I'm just going to show you in a bit. So this article by Tuko, hey, by the way, if um, you are in social media and you haven't gotten into Tuko yet, uh, you are doing social media wrong. But we shall come back to that in a bit. You can see Dr. Amakove Wala is trending. Reason? She just launched a dating site charging a subscription fee of 5,000 Kenya shillings. This is like 45 US dollars. Valued for three months, meant to hook up singles looking for lifelong partners. One school of thought argues that it is preposterous to pay in order to find a partner if one hasn't been lucky on the streets where it is free. Proponents, however, defend the idea, adding that it will weed out jokers and only allow financially stable singles who are serious. So hold on that thought for a moment and we will come back to Dr. Amakove and I will tell you how she ties it with the rest of the story. So footballers, professional footballers like Lionel Messi and millions. In fact, I was just um, researching and I am surprised that Messi gets paid 738,000 US dollars a week and he took home an astonishing 75 million dollars in on field earnings over the last year that is 2022 more than any other sportsman on the planet and um, it's very easy for example as it simple as it sounds if basketball football and all these professional games you can imagine didn't have that global audience they wouldn't be earning what they make so Lionel makes that money Messi makes all that money because of the global audience that he attracts so for you to earn millions the secret is very simple you need to attract millions in whatever it is that you do that's the basic principle so doctors in a hospital no matter how useful they are to you when you are sick they have a maximum of one patient in a small little room they don't reach millions at a go for that reason, their salary cannot be compared. So I was even checking how much does a doctor make in Kenya? And it's something like 120 
no wait 1.2 million a year that's about um how much is that let me see no about 120 thousand dollars in a year that's about ten thousand um dollars in a month that's what they get paid so comparatively what they do vis-a-vis -vis what lionel messi does chasing some leather object around a field for about 90 minutes it may sound unfair but it is not and i'm not saying that a doctor cannot earn millions what i'm saying is that they have to find a more exponential way to demonstrate their skills than in a limited space and how you may ask Amakove, Dr. Amakove has the answer. So the basic principle behind it is finding a way to reach more people even beyond their current country. I find Dr. Amakove a very good example because for example, um, Amakove is a medical doctor by profession, but she's also very active on social media and not just active she is very active has become very vulnerable she shares literally every aspect of her life and let me just give you an example of a, re a recent post that she wrote about herself she was talking about labels so right here is dr amakove waller's facebook page first of all you can see she is verified that's why you have that blue tick so two days ago she was talking about labels let me touch on this before i start my day i am five foot three by world standards i am considered short that is a fact i am divorced by legal definition i am an extrovert and i speak my mind i am a woman i love sex i love animals i love my kids i love traveling i am ambitious i run a couple of businesses i am a doctor I am an activist, etc. All these are adjectives to describe me. So, um, and the rest of them you can read. Um, just look for her Amakove Wala on Facebook. And you can see this is a post that she shared two days ago. It has 3.9 thousand um, likes and loves. And it has 777 comments and 30 shares. This is just one of her posts two days old you can see this other one she shared and it got 1200 um loves so just going by that post alone you can see that clearly amakove is very vulnerable she's like literally um very vulnerable and she's online and that's why she commands the level of audience that you see there and that's why you can see she could actually even um, because of the following she already had, she could go and think of starting a an online dating, you know, platform using Telegram. So today we, uh, the example I've just shared with you helps us to show how you can leverage social media to create new opportunities. And I will provide tips on how you can do the same. So first of all, let's just talk about um, Amakove. She has been very active on Facebook. She runs a travel Facebook group. It's called Wanderlust Diaries, has more than 400,000 followers. And she started a shoot your shot feature on Fridays where those who are looking for love could DM her and she would share profiles on her personal page. And then that's when she expanded to this now online dating that is gonna be done on Telegram and she charges a fee of about 45,000 US dollars per quarter to join her matchmaking um, Telegram account. So while this is an example of how one individual has been able to monetize her social media following, she is a doctor, yes, but she has been able to expand her audience by being vulnerable on social media. Um, a lot of people are now bashing her because she has decided to expand and start charging for her service she used to provide free she would literally offer her platform she has um how many thousand followers let me see um yeah she currently has um let's just take a look yeah she currently has um, 87,806 people who are following she's not even shy to talk about her status as divorced so just her vulnerability alone is one of the things that attracted me to her and also I'm sure attracts a lot of people to her. So this is one way that Amakove, who is a medical doctor, has managed to 
probably potentially earn the same as any other actor or singer or footballer could with a single product which is her online dating site and um you can also as i've already mentioned she already runs a 400,000 face membership facebook group and she sells advertisements on that um, particular channel so as a t as a doctor she has been able to expand her reach beyond her room where she sees patients and she's been able to tap onto her other skills to reach a wider audience and that's what you want to do with your social capital so instead of sitting there and bashing her and saying why are people gonna have to pay for love yeah she is charging for her audience she literally uses energy to type out whatever she types out and gather all those people around her platform so in addition to monetizing your social media following um, strategies like I have just said where you could spin it to another kind of content like what I'm a COVID did you can go through YouTube for example like what I'm doing right now um, so many other professionals show how to do something and earn figures monthly in a passive manner including myself so for example about two weeks ago, I shared on my Ivam Tali Finance channel how much YouTube paid me um, the whole of 2022. You can check out that channel and it's going to give you the inspiration you may need in case you're still sitting on the fence about um, starting your own YouTube channel. So you can also consider following through strategies such as affiliate marketing, um, sponsored posts, there are other ways to monetize your social capital outside of social media platforms. So recently, for example, um, I remember Dr. Makawe shared her, what do they call it? Uh -huh. Is it card rate where like you say how much you're going to charge for sponsored posts on your, on your channel and stuff like that. And again, there was a lot of uproar, which is uncalled for because it takes a lot to actually put yourself out there, put your life out there to the world and to even control the numbers that she has like 400,000 people in a Facebook group, keep it clean, keep it civil is not easy. It takes work, it takes money. So when somebody reaches a point where they can monetize that, by all means, please go for it. So for example, I've already said she could also, uh, she's monetized her following by creating her own travel agency, um, I forget the name, but I think it's called Wanderlust. Wanderlust Diaries Limited, and they usually have events here and there. They have merchandise. Um, she actually even has um, an Airbnb that she um, puts up for people can rent it out. So there's so many um, ways that she has capitalized on her social capital, and you too could consider. Another way to monetize your social capital is through speaking engagements or events. If you've built a reputation as an expert in a certain field, you could be invited to speak at a conference or other events and charge a fee for your time and expertise and of course, your social capital. Books are an excellent source of information and knowledge that may be available to people around the world. So you could also consider um, publishing a book and thank God for self-publishing. You don't have to go through a publisher. You can literally write your book and it doesn't have to be so many pages, 50 pages, publish it on Amazon, publish it on Gumroad and you start making money. And the beauty with books is that you can literally make money from day zero with your books. So um, there is an opportunity to grow exponentially and the easiest way to go about it is by opening up yourself to the world. So let's say if you are a chef and um, you're you know, working in your local restaurant, you could open up yourself by publishing your recipes online through a YouTube channel, through Instagram Reels, through TikTok Reels. And um, recently, in fact, I was watching the TikToker of the year, the one who won the TikToker of the year, I think it's called Dennis. That guy is literally like a chef and he's been publishing recipes on TikTok and he won um, the TikTok of the year, and I'm sure it probably comes with some money. Even if there's no money, just the visibility it has given him, and you could literally start doing uh, brand sponsorships um, as well. And then um, there are also very other ways where people make millions, not because they have talent 
or because they are lucky or because they are valuable to society but because they find a millionaire audience that's what you want to do if you want to make um money is by finding a millionaire audience that is what these examples that i've shared with you have done so how can you apply this strategy to your business idea so bottom line try if you're trying to make millions try to find a millionaire audience and the easiest way to find them is by creating publicly like i've given you the example of amakove dr amakove literally she puts everything about herself online right now and um, for example her brother passed on may his soul rest in peace and she's giving us the proceedings of everything that is happening around the funeral everything she's sharing with us on facebook so one place to start finding your millionaire audience is by going public with your content or whatever it is that you are creating. So scaling a business means you can double, triple, quadruple or exponentially grow it by making the same effort or less. So like I've just mentioned, um, what you simply need to know if a business can make you a millionaire is to see if it, it can impact millions. It's not about um how special is it that i do like if i'm a teacher i'm literally taking this child from kindergarten and very soon they'll be a doctor it doesn't matter the question is can you impact millions of people can you get a million uh, people in your audience yeah so if we have one hospital in kenya it may impact maybe 1000 people a day or probably less while only having that hospital won't get you far as a doctor Planning to expand to another city can make you a millionaire. But expanding to the whole world through online platforms will automatically make you even a billionaire if possible. So you can't make millions by being like a teacher that works, I don't know, maybe six hours a day or by being um, a chef that works, I don't know, six hours a day but you can achieve exponential results by owning a company that maybe um let's say outsources uh um cleaning or outsources um let's say chefs on call or something like that so showing others how to be the best doctor or how to be the best chef or owning a software application that could impact millions of doctors or millions of accountants or millions of chefs. So that's how you want to go about it. So the question you want to ask yourself, yes, I am a doctor. Yes, I am an accountant. Yes, I am a teacher. How do I um, make my skill available to millions of people? That's the only way I can become a millionaire. So the strategy is to see how hard you can work or how many digital assets you need to reach an exponential target and if you can't do that then that business may not be the best idea especially if you are looking to go online so those are the same results that i talk about you can achieve them by going online you automatically have the chance of reaching millions and millions and millions more so final thoughts around this um messi and his people his fellow football players NBA players, actors, and all the rest do not earn money because they have exponential talent or because they are lucky. They earn millions because they have millions of audiences. They can reach millions of people in 90 minutes. The good thing is that no matter what you do, you can find a millionaire audience in your niche. You can find your millionaire tribe, and that will be easiest done online create publicly create online and you increase the chances of meeting your millionaire audience so that's the only message i can leave with you right now especially if you've been wondering how to make your millions and use your social capital that's the best way to find it and focus on building a following within your community um if it's TikTok, if it's facebook if it is YouTube, wherever that is, by becoming a go-to source for information and advice within that niche or within your tribe, you'll be able to build a loyal following and create new opportunities for monetization. Lastly, don't be afraid to experiment with different monetization strategies. So you can see Amakove has a Facebook page 
for she actually I actually learned she even has another page that targets doctors she has another one like I've said the 400,000 um, travel Facebook page she has her own page that has 89,000 plus followers and she's been trying different things here and there she has a nanny um, agency she has lots of other things that she's actually building a hotel that you we hosted in a plane like that's how this girl is trying so don't be afraid to try different things because you don't know which of these could actually just pick up and do the million thing for you and then um in conclusion building social capital can be a great way to make money online but it takes time and effort to build a loyal following it takes a lot of vulnerability as you have just seen from dr markovic's page by being authentic and vulnerable focusing on a niche or on a particular tribe and experimenting with different monetization strategies both on and off social media you can leverage your social media presence to create new opportunities and make money both online and offline so don't just sit back and watch other people create take action and start creating your own opportunities today thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and hacks on how you can make money online remember building social capital is not a one-time thing it is a continuous process so keep engaging with your audience and um, providing value and experimenting with different ways to monetize your social capital i hope you found this video helpful and i wish you all the best in your efforts to make money with your social capital thank you for watching i will see you on the next one